We present our paper, Control Nerve, Editable Feature Volumes for Scene Rendering and Manipulation. From a set of posed images, our goal is to learn a volumetric representation of the scene that supports not just novel view synthesis, but also scene editing. For example, inserting an object from one scene into another. In the video you can see an example where an object from one scene, the dinosaur, is moved into another scene, the garden. Our work is based on neural radiance fields, where a radiance network predicts color and density for each 3D points and viewing direction in the given scene. The RGB values are then accumulated along the array using the volume rendering techniques to generate the color value for each individual pixel. This model is scene-specific and needs to be trained for each scene separately. In Control Nerve, we represent the scene as a dense feature volume. For each point sampled along the array, we query the volume using trilinear sampling to extract a feature vector. This feature vector is then fed to the radiance network to produce the color and density value for the given 3D location. At training time, we train our model on multiple scenes simultaneously. Both the radiance function and the feature volumes for each scene are optimized until convergence. After the initial training, for each new scene, the radiance network is kept fixed and only the feature volume of the scene is optimized. To facilitate the learning, we use multi-resolution training for the volume and total variation regularization. The multi-resolution training allows us to learn small volumes during earlier stages of the training and slowly grow them over time. The total variation regularization ensures that the volumes are locally consistent by requiring neighboring voxels to have similar feature values. Here you can see the novel view synthesis results of our method for the six scenes used for the initial training. And here are the results for two novel scenes not seen at training time. For these scenes, only their respective feature volumes were optimized during the fine-tuning stage. Next I will show you some of our editing results. In these examples, you see these two flowers from two different scenes now growing together. Editing is possible within the single scene as well. Take a look at the wall on the left where the whiteboard used to be in the original scene, now we have a yellow wall and cabinets. With our model, we can also duplicate or remove objects from the scene. These results are obtained only editing the feature volume in a plug-and-play setting, without doing any additional post-processing. All sorts of rigid and non-rigid transformations are also supported. We can also do more fine-grained edits, such as editing individual parts of the object. Here you can see a comparison of our method with one of the existing works, Neural Point Based Graphics, which relies on point cloud representations instead of volumes. For more results, comparisons and analysis, I encourage you to visit our website. Thank you for watching.